with me to the gym. Because why not that, girls? So, obviously, oh, which channel is this going to be going on? My fitness channel, my main channel, because it's a fitness video. No, it's not. It's a normal channel video. Carl's not loving me. But I'm going to the gym. I guess it's a main channel video. I don't know which channel you're going to be on, guys. Maybe both. Come on, let's go a little bit faster, honey. I need to make it to the gym. So I woke up at 10 today. I didn't set an alarm. I just woke up when I woke up because I went to bed at midnight. So, no, I went to bed at one, sorry. So that is nine hours sleep, which is quite normal for me. I, like nine hours is like about what I need. And people are saying, oh, you only need eight hours sleep, honey. But um, generally I'm, I'm better with nine. That's how I actually live. So anyway, I'm on my way to the gym now. It's. 20 past 11 about halfway to the gym basically i've spent all morning so if you don't know i kind of run a little side hustle on vintage um well no i just sell my own clothes and i was trying to sell a pair of clothes a pair of clothes a pair of leggings right let's overtake you because you're slow my love not that my car can go um well it goes not to, not to 60 and 12 and a half seconds um let's pretend you didn't hear that but uh, yeah, anyway, I was trying to post this pair of leggings and basically, ah, you stupid one. She had a car in front of me and I was like, hey, I'll let you do it. Um, anyway, yeah, so I was trying to post these leggings. How many times am I going to try and say that sentence as well? And the printer wasn't really working, but I'd already requested a um, digital printout, so I can't then go back and request a QR code. So I'm going to basically try and post these pair of leggings, but I really highly doubt that's actually going to happen. And, because the printout's like, it's it works and you can see what it says and you can kind of see the scanny thing, but the thing they actually have to scan is basically like kind of like not really there, but it kind of is, so. Oh, that round is disgusting. It's actually the worst round in the world. Well, like, I really doubt that, but it's pretty bad. Do ignore my accents. I do like to do an accent and I know, sorry if they're offensive, I really am sorry. I'm not trying to be offensive. It's just, if you are English, you know how boring it is to speak. Like, I think it would be so fun to actually speak in a different language. Like, how fun is that? I don't even know what language I'm speaking. But like, I think it's quite fun. Could not tell you what the language is. And as soon as someone says to me, what, what, like, do this accent, I'm like, I don't know how they sound, but I'll happily do an accent. Um, yeah, so we're going to attempt to post these leggings on the way back, but at the moment I'm on the way. So if those of you who do know, I actually have a 15 minute drive to my gym and then a 15 minute walk. That is my closest gym. Well, it's my closest gym that's not a health and fitness club. And I'm not going to be a health club kind of girly. That's just not me. I'm more like lift some heavy weights. Like, no thanks. I'm going to the gym to put my headphones on and just zone out. I don't want to be in a health club, really not my vibe but anyway here we go i hate going to the gym in winter so much like come on summer where are you where are you oh you have got to be kidding me what is that traffic okay calves get ready to freaking die it stands still from here to my gym. My gym is another five minute drive away. I had really bad feelings about today and I still went with it. Why did I do that, you idiot? I'm also really cold, but if I put my heating on, you guys are probably gonna be able to hear it. Stand still, we love that. In green traffic, we have a complete standstill. Although I did figure out something recently about driving that um, I kind of am kind of scared to share that I only just figured out that you could do this because I don't know if that's going to get my license revoked for saying that I only just figured it out well if anything it'll get my driving instructor's license revoked not mine hopefully um Tesco van get out my ass like please um anyway so I just figured out that if you're not in gear you can take your foot off the clutch absolute magical magicalness that because I honestly would be sat here with my foot on the clutch the whole time like in first gear, like I would just be wearing my clutch away. Babes, you can't go anywhere. I don't know where you're trying to go. There's no room for you. There's no room. The lights keep going green, but there's nowhere to go because it's standstill traffic. 
he's now in one of those um, yellow boxes. You know those yellow boxes that have like the crossovers on? I swear it's illegal to sit in those. And you're in it, mate. Ah, I haven't even had pre-workout, but I'm in this really weird mood. Oh, there's another person in it, mate. You're gonna get fined. Um, oh, getting beeped at. I hate that so much. Um, yeah, I've not even had any pre and I'm so glad I didn't. Sitting, that's what I hate about the whole gym thing is that if I wanted prey, I mean, if I'd taken prey, I would now be, um, like, off my face. Can't believe how much traffic there is. Oh no, there's a car next to me that's actually my eye level and it can see me vlogging. You know what? Considering I've been on YouTube for three years, you would not think that that was a worry of mine, but it really is. Like, I hate when people watch me filming. It's just disgusting. And I actually have a video, like, not even that long ago, I think it was like three months or something. Um, and there was this, I was vlogging in George's car and I looked to the left of me and there was someone pointing and waving. And I was just like, ah, swallow me up ground, please, because we were at a standstill as well. Just hate it so much, but, oh, and we're off again, even though we're going two centimeters up the road. You know, last time I was in standstill traffic, my car broke right down. Oh no. Oh no, it's police cars, ambulances, fire engines. Oh, I'm really sorry for, my, for like joking about it now. Oh shit, I feel really bad. Two fire engines just went past me. And there's three Ninos. What? Shit, there's one coming towards me. An ambulance. Oh no. Now I feel really bad. It's an ambulance. I think there's been a crash. That would be why it didn't come up on Google Maps. Oh! I'm going off. really sad oh wow gone from one high to another haven't they one high to a huge low whatever i really hope they're all right i hate ambulances i mean i love ambulances because like brilliant you're saving that person's life that's a fireman as well but um it's so sad to think that that's someone's thursday morning oh life is actually really unfair isn't it bit turned into a bit of a deep chat this one i am so wanting a spray or something if you didn't know i basically why is it not coming out pretty much collect sprays what why is it not spraying anything well brilliant that's quite annoying. <laughs> oh that god, that woman next door is watching me. Do I have another spray here? Yes I do. That's the plan. Basically I collect um these little sprays. I have like a hundred of them. But they're so handy for going to the gym because I probably use them about eight times during a gym session. It smells really good. Oh yeah. What was that? I think it's called Mykonos Nights and it's a so spray. Honestly, if you're a gym girly. Don't waste your money on perfume because I do have perfumes, obviously, and I have like a few that I'll use like for special occasion or whatever. But if you're literally, if all you are doing in that day is going to the gym, like my typical day is go to the gym and then come back and do some work online. It's the same girl next to me, that's embarrassing. Um, that's my typical day, so um, I will just put some soap spray on and then when I leave the gym, oh, more soap sprays. I really hope there's not an ambulance trying to get through here because that would be quite impossible. Anyway, obviously when I started making this video, I really thought it was going to be a two minute drive down the road. Not all of this, but I just really hope those people are right. Ah, what's that, an operational manager? Ambulance. Oh, are we going again? I think we're starting to move because the ambulances are slowly starting to like... I hate big vehicles with a fashion. With a fashion. Um, that is huge. I hate them. I don't know why. I don't even ask. I just absolutely despise them because they, I don't know, I feel trapped. I feel so trapped. 
One, two, three, four. Oh my God, there's three. It's a 16 wheeler. What's this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 12 wheeler. Ooh. Been distracted by the little 12 wheelers. Trying to connect dots and don't know what to tell my boss. Anyway, I think I might have to go or like put the radio on. Should I put the radio on? What's on the radio? Fun. I don't have a microphone. I don't know the words to this song. Um, you know, I've just started watching on TikTok and that's probably not helping with the accents. Oh, a policeman. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Um, what's his name? I don't know who, what his name is, but he basically films like, he's a tattoo artist and he just does loads of accents and he talks about like tattoo stories and things. I think he's been a tattooist for like eight years. He was from Ireland, he's now in London. Something like that. I'm probably not 100% sure on the story, but Honestly, his accents are just fucking hilarious. It's like that. I just find it so funny. Um, and obviously, I'm the same. Like, I just do these weird fucking accents for absolutely no reason. Just find it a bit funny because my accent is so bloody boring. I don't, I don't know what accent I'm doing. But anyway, I am very close to the gym. Well, I'm close to the first part. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm close to parking, and then I got a 15 minute walk. I'm really swapping between accents. Yeah, so I've got um, five minutes till we're parked, I wanna say. Oh, there's a learner behind me. I'm so sorry, mate. You're gonna be hating this right now. With the learners, I don't even know if you're allowed to do this. Are you allowed to take your foot off the... I need some heat on my feet, I'm freezing. Are you allowed to take your feet off of the clutch and just use the brake, or do you have to use the handbrake? Was I even sure about that? You knew. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I might just end this segment here and then I might pick it up when I'm on the way to posting my things because I will update you if that actually happened or not because the printer's broken. Oh, I'm so fed up of staring at the back of this Volkswagen. Ah. I'm such a visual person. Like, I get so bored when I'm driving. It's like just the most boring thing in the world. Like, how can you just literally sit here and just drive? Honestly, boring out of my mind. Um, so especially when there's literally just one thing that I'm looking at, I'm just like, like, come on, change up the scenery, please. My clutch is hitting me. This is gonna be drowning out my petrol. There is a hairbrush in that guy's car attached to the side of the wheel. Does he know about that? I really doubt it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go listen to some music to actually maybe get me in a bit of a better mood. So I will see you guys after my gym session, maybe. I did two sessions. I did a leg session and a back and biceps because I thought I'm gonna make most of having like, like it literally took like twice as long to get to the gym. So I was like, right, I'll make the most of it. I cannot remember the life of me where I parked so though. Like I literally haven't got a clue. But I also just remembered I need to post that uh, pair of leggings. But the, oh, I don't know if the printout's gonna work. Where's my cart? There she is. Found Dory. Right, we're all right, we found her. Sweetheart. <laughs> Right, I am in my car, I'm safe. I really hope that the like it, traffic's all cleared up. No, there's another fire engine. Surely that's not, no, surely not, no. I think it's all clear. I really hope that person's all right though. They were in a little Mazda too. And it was just, oh wait, I didn't even say because I ended the video before I'd even seen the accident. Basically they were in a little Mazda too and it was just in the bush. And, ow, a bit my, but oh god, all oh, lights! I hate when lights go red and there's literally not even anyone crossing. Like that person hasn't crossed. Why the lights red? 
and why they register so long webs. Um, anyway, ah, oh, there we go. Um, I nearly just stalled my car then because I was so energetic. Babes, I can't see. Anyway, yeah, so they were literally in a bush and um, I really just hope that they're okay, but they were literally in a bush. Like, I'm about to drive past where it happened. I wonder if they're still there. No, I don't think they are because there was like a recovery van. But honestly, I just, I couldn't believe it. It was just so, like, messed up. Um, to be fair, the back looked all right, but then the back didn't hit anything. I just, I really hope they didn't hit a tree or anything. But anyway, let's not make that whole video about that, shall we? Um, and I'm gonna pull into the petrol station. I don't actually need any petroleum. Or should I just get some anyway? I'll probably just get some anyway, to be honest. It's just easy, isn't it? Because I'm going over to Georgia's and I like to always have a full tank. I'm weird. I hate not having a full tank. So I'm like, what if I'm driving somewhere? Like, I need this tank. That's my thought process anyway. So I'm gonna probably put like a fiver in. It only needs literally like 10 pounds. But then I'm gonna try and post this. It's just not gonna post. Like I would show you, but obviously the person's address is on there. So I'm not gonna show you that. But it's literally just like only the outline of the QR code. So I don't think it's gonna scan, babes. <laughs> and they don't, this one doesn't accept things without um, a label on. Oh, it's so annoying because I literally told her I was posting it today as well, so shame. But I'm gonna just go try and post this now. Okay, guys, it's stone absolutely tipping it down rain, and suddenly the roads are so busy. I just don't get that. Is that like people are out and then they're like, oh, I should probably get home now? It's tipping it down. Like, I just don't get it. Like, why is the road suddenly so much busier when it's raining? It's so annoying. Um, and I saw that's when all the learners decide, learner drivers decide to come out. Oh my god, she's in such a cute little car. Oh, that's really bad. I didn't have my foot on the brake and I was rolling. Um, little Volkswagen up. I think they're so cute. I would get an up GTI. I wouldn't get an up just because they have absolutely no power. I think they're one litre. This is even 1.2. I'm not going down. If anything, I want a 1.6. The car I was looking at getting was a, one, a two litre, but I don't know if that's a bit much. Wow, go, that man's running in the rain. Go him, what a sweetheart. Bless him, he might not be a sweetheart. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I'm just driving back now. I posted a thing which is unreal, put 10 pounds in my tank, which took it all the way full, just because I'm going to, it's a bit of a change of plan. I'm going to George's this weekend. You probably can't hear me because of all this rain. He was going to be coming to mine. So I don't know, I just like to always have a full tank when I go over there in case we decide to do anything else. And there's a petrol station that I like to get petrol from. So yeah, that's basically that. Go on, a little bit faster, mate. But I'm so glad that scanned because I really didn't think it was going to. Whoa! Whoa! Were you asking for a crash there, mate? Jesus! How slow is he going to go? I cannot believe that. He actually nearly pushed me off the road. Now I'm going 20 miles an hour, thank you. In a 60, because you decided to put out in front of me. But we'll go with that. Okay. Anyway, me and George are just looking to book a holiday because, well, who doesn't want to get out of this country? Like, but also it's my birthday trip. So if you didn't know, we started doing like trips with each other for our birthdays, which I think is a really nice idea because then we'll always have a memory of like our birthday rather than just like some presents. Like, yeah, he could definitely get me 200 pounds worth of like things, um, like clothes and things, but it would never mean as much as like going on holiday. So I booked for, um, us to go to Edinburgh which was 700 pounds all in. And basically what we've said is like, we'll pay, so I paid 70%, he paid 30. So I paid about 500 pounds, 550, he paid 250 or something like that. Um, but we still get like little things for each other. So I got him some balloons, some cheesecakes and like some alcohol. But obviously the holiday is the main thing. Um, so we're now looking for Venice because it's obviously now my choice because my birthday's February. Um, the only thing is I want to go on my actual birthday because my birthday this year is a Monday and otherwise I'm going to be in uni. What? Like, no thanks. And even if I skipped uni and stayed at home, no one's at home because they're all at work. So, um, I think I'm going to take the Monday off uni. 
because I only have one thing that I'd be missing anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And then I'll go back to uni on that Tuesday. But yeah, that's basically the plan. So we're gonna go for either three or four nights. I haven't quite, well, we haven't really decided because I don't really want to, I don't think I want to stay over on my birthday. Um, the idea of waking up in Venice is paradise to me. But I don't think I'd actually stay over because then like, that's the first time I've not actually seen my family on my birthday. That would feel so weird. I don't know. And also then it means he's got to take a couple more days off work. So that wouldn't really work. And then obviously I've got to skip Tuesday uni, which again, get out my ass. If I roll back, that's on you, mate. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I can't skip Tuesday uni as well. Oh, silly. Uh, he's actually in my ass. Like, if I roll back even the slightest little bit, I'm gone. Go on. Um, God, I've sandwiched in between two really big cars then. That's quite scary. Um, yeah, so we were looking at Venice, but apparently Venice is like quite an expensive country to actually be in. Like the flights are fine, but because it's like little islands, everything has to get imported. So I think we might think of going there in like May. So um, if we did like, I said Milan as well, but I feel like that's a little bit too cold. Um, yeah, so Venice is like 10 degrees, but also everything's quite expensive. So it feels a bit rude saying like, oh yeah, you can do that for my birthday. <laughs> like the expensive one. Oh my God. Indicating wrong, aren't you? Um, sorry. Oops. But yeah, so basically I'm trying to decide where to go. So if you could put anything in the comments, then I would really appreciate that because I really don't know. Like I do probably want it to be Italy just because I love Italy so much and we went to Rome last year I kind of want to do all the places in Italy um, we're thinking city just because it's easier like the city breaks quite nice a little three days um, four days three nights kind of thing so yeah I just need to decide where I'm actually wanting to go because obviously this one's my choice he chose Edinburgh um, I was thinking of going to Barcelona, but it feels a bit like close. Like it, I've never had an interest for Barcelona. Venice is actually on my vis vision board and Lake Como, like it's on my vision board. Um, so I need to basically decide. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. My little drive with me to the gym, whatever this has been. I don't really know, kind of like a mini vlog, I guess. But yeah, I'm back home now, so that's that i hope you guys have enjoyed if not i'm really sorry <laughs> but yeah anyway i will see you guys in my next video 